Hey everybody and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're looking at Hard Time. All you suckers out there are playing Prison Architect. I'm here playing the OG Prison game. Uh, I have no idea what this is about but I hear it's pretty ridiculous and the opening music as you're about to hear gets pretty crazy as well. Wait for the singing, that's the best part. I'll just look through the options menu while we do that. So we've got resolution, population, I set this to the highest it goes. There it is. Everything is gonna be all right. It's so distorted and creepy, I don't know, something about it. We set gore up, we set particles to the maximum, maximum, maximum. We got keys to look at. A, Z, S, and X, pretty easy to remember. So I think what this is is just a simulation of, like, what it's like being in prison. Uh, so this may get kind of ugly. Uh, credit is to be given, not taken. Single-handedly in three months. I can't tell if it's, like, an indulgence, a guilty pleasure, or something, like, to be able to make a credit screen where you just put your name after everything. Seems a little conceited to me. Maybe I'm a little off base on that, but I mean, obviously you get to give yourself credit if you did all those things, but at the same time, like, yeah, you made it. Just put your name on it. Why list out all of the elements? Okay, so let's do it. New game. Alright, this looks amazing already. His name is Fairy Tale. I don't think I can mess with perfection like that. Height, uh, 6'9", seems right. Strength, I have 20 points to put throughout strength, agility, and intelligence. Uh, I can actually suck all the points out of intelligence, which is going to help me, and put those all into strength. There we go. Uh, agility, oh, I should put 10 points into agility, too. I don't know what you need with uh, intelligence in jail. Terrorism, murder, oh, man, you get to pick a crime, huh? Grievous bodily harm, rape, child abuse... It's kind of awful. Why would you want to pick one that, like, abused children? Armed robbery, theft, drug dealing, drug abuse, prostitution, fraud. Alright, I think Fairy Tale is uh, guilty of prostitution. What's up with his shadow, too? It's, like, dark green. It sort of looks like stuff in Blight Town. Oh, man, we can customize his afro. Balding with a ponytail. <laughs> Can I... can I spin him? No, I can't spin him. He looks pretty happy to be in jail, honestly, which doesn't seem quite right. A lot of hair options. Well, I know the developer... Oh, man, we can make him look like, uh... What's his name? From Kane and Lynch. Uh, well, Kane or Lynch, I don't remember which one he is. Um... Yeah, the guy that made this, I guess, is uh, big on wrestling games. Wow, that's quite a face. Uh, so I guess a lot of these customization options may be left over from that. Oh, that's good. Oh. That's a good look. Oh man, the whole the whole thing's coming together now. Uh, I'm not seeing any real differences. Oh, I have to press enter, I'm sorry. Make him fat. Oh, he's looking better by the second. Outfit. Do you really get to customize your outfit very much in jail? I kind of... Oh, man. Bare chest is probably going to be it, right? Yeah, that's really all we've got. I kind of want to see what the other body types look like, just because... You can make him muscular, you can make him chubby. Yeah, I think fat seems about right. Yeah, let's leave him like that. That's perfect. Alright, save and exit. Although, not exit, but like, start. Oh man, that music just keeps playing while the game goes? The court has accused you of prostitution and heard your defense. Okay, the music's fading out. Trial's gone on quite long enough, so I'd like to take this moment to deliver my verdict. I wonder if I'm gonna be guilty. Oh, I found you guilty and sentenced you to 34 days in day the Southern Correctional Facility, Southtown. Southtown? We're going Southtown. May not be a long time, but it will be a hard time. You'll be lucky if you survive. So like they said in Office Space, 
You know, watch your cornhole, man. And I'm handing you over to the wardens, and they'll do something. Okay, well, you'd think I'd have to, like, wear a shirt. Oh, man, the wrestling people are in the stands. <laughs> Cheering me on. Did you see his face? His face is so perfect. Oh, we're gonna dance. All right, fairy tale. That's you processed. You're now known as Prisoner S005. That means you're in cell 5 of the south block, so head over there and make yourself at home. You're not going to escort me to my cell? What kind of prison is this? I'm guilty of prostitution, man. That means I'm a dangerous felon. Look at his hair. Look at his hair, it's not even attached. It's attached on, like, one side sometimes. All it is is just intersecting. What is he doing? Why does everyone walk so silly? There's just weapons laying all over the place. Is this super jail? What jail is this? The guards are just wrestling each other. What does this say? Don't serve a death sentence. Sleep... Off your aches and pains in the med- There's ads for the medical bay in the prison? Look at him run. There's TNT all over the floor? What are you doing with that? I'm wondering the same thing, man. What am I doing with it? Can you help me? Can you help me figure this out? You're not allowed to carry weapons. Put it down immediately or there'll be trouble. What a congenial exchange with a prison guard. No, it's mine. You can't have it. It's my sword. It's my sword. You better know how to use it. Wow, so he's threatening... <laughs> you better know how to kill us, security guards. I'm gonna kick your ass until... I have a sword! Whoa. Got no business putting your hands on a police officer. I know that. I'm in I'm in jail. I'm in super jail. If you want to pick a fight with us, we'll make your life even more unbearable inside these walls. So far, you made it pretty bearable by giving me a sword and access to dynamite. Now straighten up and fly right before I show you how hard a real man can hit. I'm a real man. I got the best hair. Oh my god, look at his crotch. I just wanted that animation to go on forever. <laughs> this is the funniest game I've found in a while. Um, totally a different type of funny than Frog Fractions, but... Yeah, so we gotta go back to court again? Just for wielding a sword, man? Why did you have a sword in jail in the first place? That's insane! They go through everyone's cells and, like, check everywhere for shivs, and they're gonna put swords on the ground? Okay, you gotta take a minute to think over the facts. I was carrying a freaking sword. You caught- I was in jail already! It, this isn't exactly how this works, is it? Warden Compton, there's no evidence to suggest that the sword was used for any... That's right! That is right! I didn't use it for any crime. I just didn't give it up because I was in jail and the wardens told me to. I can't punish this man over your suspicions. <laughs> Simply confiscate the item and leave. <laughs> Look at the little tree in the background. <laughs> oh, justice. The American legal system, that's why it's the greatest one in the world. I didn't even need Johnny Cochran for that. Alright. Attention, Warden Simmons has been found- Already? I just got here! What even is that? Is that a symbol? Of a drum set? No witnesses have come forward to show- It was probably me with my freaking sword, right? We at the prison are deeply saddened by his passing. Our condolences go to the family. Oh, his family on the outside. I'm pretty sad about it, too. So it looks like they kind of beat the crap out of me. I'm, like, ready to die here for some reason. I just got here. 
You're a snitch, fairy tale. Who? You're not. Oh, you're talking to me. Okay, I thought that guy was. Yeah. Who'd you give up to get the? Who did I? I didn't. I didn't even meet anyone yet. I just got there and found a sword, man. I'm already in jail. Aren't I doing time? I don't want to wrestle you. How do I run? I just want to go in in jail now. I want to actually go behind bars. Can I take this ball with me for fun? Because if I'm going to be locked up for a while, please don't hurt me. I need the ball. I just want the ball. This isn't even my cell, but... S005. Isn't that my number? What are they doing? Three, four... Here it is. No smoking, no naked lights. <laughs> he just drops the ball and hits the ground. <laughs> hits the bed like nothing. Alright. Oh, I can heal my back sores by sleeping, I think. I'm not an intelligent man. I mean, I, I took all the points out of that stat. So I guess I've got to share this cell with you. Just stay out of my way and we'll be alright. Are you like a weird version of Duke Nukem whose mouth is slightly above his lips? I want to read all your tattoos, man. Are you going to make love to me? I hope you don't. Stay away. I can do the vampire cross. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. I won't let you in. I want my ball. Can't have my ball. Alright. I want to go back to bed. It's been a long day since you woke me up. Oh no. <laughs> Seriously? Brother, what hurts you so much that you feel you need to hurt me to heal it? I don't know that that happens very often in prison. Unless this guy's going to convert me to Jesus or something. Isn't it worth sacrificing? Okay, maybe that is where we're actually going with that. That's right. Back to bed. Because there's no, like, wardens telling you when it's time to sleep. They don't, like, close the gate on your prison cell. It's just, like, a bunch of dudes hanging out in a house together. It's like a frat house, just with more wrestling. Maybe less wrestling? I don't know, I've never lived in a frat house. Oh, looks like my back is starting to do a lot better. Um, you can have the bed after I'm long dead, actually. I'm not giving up the bed. Why is my intelligence 30%? I know it was like 30 points, but doesn't that imply that like 75 or 70% 70 of my intelligence is not present? Okay. Wake up, resume my rehabilitation. That's what I want to do. Did they ever actually... They never even shut the door on us. I could have just been out there raping and shiving everyone. Alright, buddy, let's go. Let's go knock on some doors and make things right again. Are they sword fighting? Hey, what's up? You heard about Warden Simmons' death? Yeah, I, I have. I guess he finally got what's coming to him. Oh, is he a jerkbag? You don't have very good teeth, do you, man? Sorry about your teeth. Well, I guess that's why you don't have so many teeth. This place worries me. Are there any swords or guns lying around on the ground? Well, there's a barbell over here. Seems like fun. Could lift weights, work on my strength. Oh, no, I'll just take my ball. It's a lot more fun having that. Let's go meet some new people today. How about that? Can I go? I'd like to go upstairs. Oh, hey, fairy tale. You following me? Get away from me before I kick you away. I'm not following you, man. I just want to go upstairs and meet some new people. Why has everyone got to be so rough on me? Hey, that's, you're giving me noogies, man. I didn't ask for any noogies. I just want my bolly. Man, I had such a different expectation of what prison would be like. I mean, I figured it would be, like, a lot like this, but I didn't figure it would be exactly like this. Oh, you've got the same haircut I do, almost, except for the balding. Hey, that's a mean word. 
This is prison. You shouldn't use mean words in prison. I'm telling. You took my bolly. I'm going away from you. You're a mean man. I'm gonna sleep in prisoner S17 cell. Got no business. I have no business being in there. Wow, look at that dude with the mustache. This is this is this guy's reality every night. Hey, what are you doing in my? Oh no, I've I've that guy's got some tattoos. This could be bad. Let's get out of here, man. I don't want to fight you. Can I jump over this? I'd like to... I can just do Vampire Cross. That's about it. Can't pick up anything. Just can't really jump, actually. Very few buttons you can actually press in this. Uh... So you got Punch, Kick, Defense, and Pick Up. And that's it. I'd really like to get to meet some of you guys on a more personal level instead of all this fighting and bickering. I'd also like my Bolly back. Thank you. I'll just be taking this. Pardon my hair. Oh, is there a new weapon down there? What's this? Is that just... Like an, a straight up axe or some kind of meat cleaver laying on the ground. Whoever's dropping off these weapons in this prison is sadistic. It must be like Jigsaw or something. No, 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 no. You can't have my weapon. Time to cut some fools. Yeah, I'm the one here with the axe, so, uh, no. Ah! You too. All of you. Uh oh. I dropped my axe. Or cleaver, or whatever it is. Get out of here. Get out of here. My strength is too high for you. Oh, I fell on the axe. No! You can't have it! If there's any fighting to do, I'll do it. Alright, well, I don't want to take your job away from you. That guy's got a really weird fly on his pants. All you animals have to worry about is the rules. Stop bickering before I really lose my temper. Well, you are aware there's like a cleaver or a butcher's knife or an axe floating around here. This guy over here has it. I'm going to take it back from him. I don't think he deserves this thing. Yeah, noogies for you. Uh-oh. Hey, fairy tale, I hear you're in it for prostitution. Yeah, I, I am. There's a tough break, man. There's a real sting. I'm sure you didn't do it. I've been accused of vandalism. Well, you're getting headlocked right now. I'm gonna vandalize your body with that knife. Where'd it go? Somebody take it again? I'm gonna get Chris Robson for what he did to you. This is like the most perverted, insane soap opera I've ever seen. Yeah. That's what you get for existing here. Yeah, yeah, I'm a mean man because I have lots of muscles. Prison's so fun. Can't have it. Oh, you took it right out of my hand? Oh, I'm going to have to sleep this damage off. Can't get up. Oh, okay. So I guess these fights are pretty temporary in the scheme of things because nobody seems to be too bothered after we're done fighting. They just sort of move on with their lives. Oh, I made him cry! Oh, that's, that's an awkward position. Oh, he's taking it out on someone else. I did! I will. I'll, I'll shoot him with my axe of doom. Yeah, he's my only friend, and he's got the coolest mustache ever and his mouth that comes out of it. Yes, I thank God for it as well, because I have a knife and you do not. Where did he go? Chris Robson? Is that you? Is that this guy over here? I already forgot him. Oh, he took it right out of my hand again. What did he get? All of you are going down. Come on, man. Let's go. 
I'm gonna make you all cry because you took my ball. Stay out of my business. I can handle Chris Robson. No, you can't. I'll handle you. Oh, I almost did a sweet counter. <laughs> I saw what you did to Chris Robson with that meat cleaver. Shouldn't be fighting at all, let alone with weapons. Put that down or there'll be trouble. No, it's mine. You think I'm scared of a meat cleaver? Wow, that's big talk, man. You are aware this is a meat cleaver and you are unarmed, yes? Whoa, sweet move. This guy can handle himself in a fight. Are we going to go to court again? I don't want to know how a real man can hit if a real man can take a meat cleaver to the face and not even wince. Oh, I think I made him cry again. Oh, I'm crying now. Although it just looks like I'm sort of laughing maniacally. King Sin is a personal friend of mine. I didn't even know that was King Sin. I haven't met these people. We've never been properly introduced. They all have weird flies on their pants. Ah, rejected. Right, well, I don't know. I don't feel like this is probably going to go anywhere, but at least I know what prison's like now. Oh no, it's the member of the Sons of God. Ink means something. Well, it, I figured it would. This game is certainly pretty far on the insane scale. Uh, so it's essentially just a wrestling game that happens to take place in prison. Um, I don't actually seem to have control over my character anymore, which is kind of cool. So I guess I can just talk and let this guy do what he's doing. Um, I didn't go in there, man. So, I mean, aside from the absurdity factor... Oh, I can control him again. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, aside from the absurdity factor, there's not a lot of redeeming value to this game, uh, unless you're looking for a really insane wrestling free-for-all in jail. I guess that's what this is. Um, I was kind of curious about the story element. I wanted to see where that went since we had to like pick what my crime was and stuff. I thought maybe that would be integrated better, but I guess not. We just get barbells and balls and swords and other various assorted weapons since we're in prison. It's like a hand mirror. Can't pick it up though. Oh, there it is. Just looking at it. I'm just gonna go over here. Can I go? Oh, I didn't even know I could leave. All right, this changes everything. There's different rooms. Kind of want to go to the shower and see what happens in there. Leave me alone. Yeah, I did. I got off easy, though. That guy's got a shiv. Watch out, man. Alright, well, so what this means is that maybe you guys do have a reason to download this. Go grab it at the link below. Oh, and I have to warn you, uh, if I didn't do this already, there is a download bar that it tries to, or a, you know, one of those browser bars that it tries to install when you uh, put on the game. So make sure you uncheck. Apparently I can change my looks with that mirror. Make sure you uncheck all of the crap uh, so you don't accidentally get a browser bar. Uh, although, I doubt many of you probably use Internet Explorer, so it probably won't matter very much. East block. What does that say? Exercise yard. The pool table. South block. Cafeteria. Attention. Dinner is served. Take your seat now to avoid disappointment. Well, being in prison, I definitely don't want to be disappointed. Thanks for the welcome. 
watching TV or using the computer. It's worth keeping an eye on the phones too because we get some interesting calls here. What does that say? West Block? Hospital? And I think I've gone in a circle now, right? Study, yeah. Alright, so you guys can download this, check out all the different rooms. Maybe you'll find some pretty interesting stuff going on. Somebody found a baton there. Get away from me, vampire. Yeah, I heard the bell. You calm down, mister. I'm a prisoner at this place. I deserve respect. Crime data. Get to know your fellow in inmates. Wow, if you have an intelligence of 70 or more. The places that the developer chose to develop this into more of an RPG are kind of astounding to me, but very interesting nonetheless. So I think that's probably going to do it for this episode. Go grab this, check out the other rooms, maybe uh, evolve the soap opera a little bit. It's kind of hard to put this thing down, even though it's ridiculous and kind of terrible, but... Uh, it is what it is. Every game is uh, its own thing, and uh, I've never seen anything quite like this before, so... Glad I got to share it with you. So while these guys fight each other to the death with sticks of dynamite, I'll remind you to please head on, on over to my website, www.indie-impressions.com, where you can browse all the old episodes, check out the forums, meet some cool people, and find some games you may have never heard of, as well as sort all of my videos by genre and distribution method. And if you'd like to, feel free to head on over to facebook.com slash indie impressions, leave a like on that page, and then you'll get all of my videos on, a, on your daily Facebook feed, which could be convenient for you, so you don't have to go looking for them. And lastly, if you'd like to leave me any comments, criticisms, suggestions, or, you know, game recommendations, uh, at Rockley Smile on Twitter is the fastest way to get in touch with me. And if you want to follow at Indie Impression on Twitter, you will uh, be hooked into the feed of every day's videos so you can see what I upload when I upload it. Oh man, I'm married. I just found out. Um, no, I'm good. I'm having a blast in jail, actually. I don't even have a shirt on. Daddy's got some important work to do in jail with this bl frickin' baton, man. <laughs> I'm a secret agent like you saw on TV. Yeah, that's self-aggrandizement, man. Alright. Well, I'm a crappy dad apparently, too. Uh, I just found that out, so... That'll do it. Make sure you come back again tomorrow for another episode of Indie Impressions. It'll be wacky, it'll be wild. It may not be as wacky or wild as this one, but I can guarantee it'll be interesting nonetheless. So I hope to see you back for another, and I will bid you adieu for now. Have a lovely night. Later, and stay out of jail. <laughs>